Invasive ductal carcinoma is a form of breast cancer that originates in the cells lining the ducts of the breast. In this type of breast cancer, the cells have begun to spread to surrounding breast tissue, with the capacity to eventually spread to other areas of the body. Invasive ductal carcinoma, or IDC, is the most commonly diagnosed form of breast cancer and accounts for roughly 75% of all cases. Invasive ductal carcinoma comes with a number of symptoms that should be checked during a breast self-exam. Women should look for any change in the size or shape of a breast, a thickening of the skin in the region, any changes in appearance, any lumps in the breast or underarm area, pain in the breast region, or redness of the breast. Breast cancer can typically be found through routine screening exams before symptoms appear, and some women receive a diagnosis of IDC following a breast cancer screening, even in the absence of visible symptoms. Breast cancer screening techniques usually involve a mammogram, ultrasound, fine needle aspiration, and possibly a biopsy. In determining an appropriate treatment, a physician will likely take into account the cancer's staging, grade, and receptor status. For patients with invasive cancers, we still offer them surgical therapies such as lumpectomy or mastectomy if they feel that that's the right decision for them. Those patients who have mastectomy often will opt to have breast reconstruction. Again, it's a personal choice, whatever is best for them. But unlike non-invasive cancers, the surgical therapy for invasive cancer also involves checking the local lymph nodes to see how the cancer spread to those lymph nodes. Our standard of care is sentinel lymph node biopsy, where we identify the very first lymph nodes that cancer cells would go to if they were leaving the breast, and then they remove that one. If cancer cells are involved in that node, we will then do a traditional axillary dissection to check how many nodes are involved. Because invasive breast cancers have the ability to spread to other organs, depending on the size of the tumor, the aggressiveness of the tumor, the involvement of lymph nodes or the involvement of local structures such as the skin or the chest wall, these patients may be offered systemic chemotherapy to reduce the risk of distant recurrence down the line.